Good morning, friends. Welcome to story time. I'm so glad you could join me today. Why don't we start off with the more we get together? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. That was great. Let's sing it one more time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Great job, everyone. You know what we're going to read about today? Trees. Trees are so exciting. We're not going to read about Lego trees, though. We're going to read about real trees. Are you ready for today's story? Okay, let's get to reading. This book is called Trillions of Trees, a counting and planting book. It was written and illustrated by Kurt Cyrus. It was published by Christy Ottaviano Books, which is an imprint of Henry Holton Company, which is an imprint of Macmillan Publishers. So big thank you to all of them for letting us share it with you today. This is a dedication. That's who the book was written for. It says, for my tree planting brother, Steve. Trillions of trees. We never meant to plant a tree. We wanted something small. A trillium, my sister said, and so she placed a call. This is a trillium, friends. It looks like it's a type of flower. I'd like to buy a trillium, please, said Lizzie to the man. He thought, she said, a trillion trees. That's how it all began. A trillion trees, the salesman said. We'll do our very best. I'll send a thousand right away and order up the rest. A trillion is a very big number, friends. A thousand is a very big number, too. I can't imagine a thousand trees. Trees, trees, trees. They knocked us to our knees. In boxes, bags, and burlap rags. Trees, trees, trees. Look at all of those trees. So many different shapes and colors and so many different methods. Look, this one's in a pot. These ones are wrapped in burlap. There's some in boxes. Our shovel couldn't hack it. That means the shovel didn't work to do it. We bought a couple more and then we started digging like we've never dug before. Dig, dig, dig. A filbert and a fig, a beech, a gum, a peach, a plum, dig, dig, dig. Filbert, fig, beech, gum, peach, and plum are all types of trees. Peach and plum are fruit trees. A beech is a I I don't know about filbert, fig, beech, and gum. I'm not sure what types of trees those are. Maybe you can have your grown-up go on Google and search a filbert tree or a fig tree or any of the types of trees I name. And then you can see pictures of them. We dug and dug. The ground was hard. We stuck a hundred in our yard. Wow, that's a lot. It kind of looks like they made a pattern. Or uh, not a pattern, a design. You see lots of evergreens. Evergreen trees are trees that stay green all year round. So that's like pine trees or Christmas trees are types of evergreens. 
Um, some bushes are evergreens. And the other type of tree is called a deciduous tree. And that's a tree that loses its leaves in the fall. So the branches are empty and bare all winter. And then in the spring, it gets buds and sometimes there's flowers on it. And then it has leaves in the summer. So deciduous and evergreen. Trees, 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 another hundred, please. All up and down the streets of town. Trees, trees, trees. So they've planted 200 trees now, friends. That's a very big number, a lot of trees. Looks like they got some neighbors to help them. A county park, the perfect place. We asked permission just in case. Along the trails and all around, another hundred in the ground. If you're keeping track, that's 300 trees now. So they got even more help. Maybe the person from the county park, their parents, and some more neighbors. Do you ever go to a county park? Maybe you've been to Kensington or Island Lake or even just a regular park like the ITC Park or McCaddy, and you've seen a bunch of trees there. Somebody had to plant those. Those didn't just start. Though sometimes when a tree drops, like an evergreen will drop its pine cones, or a maple tree will drop, you know what? Some people call them helicopters. They're those little seeds and they whirl around as they land. If those stay where they are, a new tree will grow. So I guess sometimes trees do plant themselves, but usually people have to do it. Dig, dig, dig. These apple trees are big. An orchard goes for rows and rows. Dig, dig, dig. Have you ever been to Irwin's Apple Orchards in South Lyon? Or maybe another apple orchard near you? And you see the rows of apple trees and you go down and you pick an apple in the fall. That's what they're doing here. They're planting rows of apple trees. And in a few years, those trees will be ready for people to pick their apples. Plant a windbreak, poplars, pines. Stretch them out in perfect lines. That's a big word, friend, windbreak. Some Times in very dusty areas, it can be really windy because there's a really flat surface and there's nothing to break the wind. So people will plant tall trees like evergreen trees that will help block the wind so their houses and their farms don't get as dusty. Plant another hundred trees. Alder, ash, and willow, please. Shade a river, shade a pool. Fish prefer their water cool. Also good, cottonwood. Cottonwood trees are the ones that shed little white fluffy things that kind of look like snow. So sometimes in the summer, you'll see white fluffies floating around and you think, is that snowing? No, it's just cottonwood. Trilliums, my sister cheers. I just groan and plug my ears. Look, she found her trillium. Spruce and hemlock, cedar too. A fur for her, a you for you. And look, sequoia, these are great. They're tiny now. But just you wait. Sequoia is a huge type of tree. They have sequoias in California. They are so big that it takes several people to wrap their arms all the way around the trunk. That's what this part is, of the tree is called. Oh, better move the book over. Chop the ground, pry it back. Pull a seedling from your sack. One by one, the trees return to heal the scarring from a burn. 
See, friends, here the trees seem to have burned and fallen down. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes there's things called wildfires where large areas will burn, often trees. It doesn't happen in Michigan, but it happens in California um, and in other really dry climates. We're not a very dry climate. It's rained a lot lately, but some places don't get nearly as much rain as we do. Here, the slope is very steep. Plant 100, not too deep. Mountain hemlock, sugar pine, Douglas fir is also fine. Hold roots hold, keep the slopes controlled. Grip that mud, stop that flood, hold roots hold. Then on the other side of things, sometimes it's too wet. And when places have really steep hills from mountains, it can get really muddy and there can be a mudslide from flooding. So again, we don't really have that in Michigan, but there are some places where the water will flood, it, you know, the rain will cause flooding from rivers and lakes, and then um, there will be mudslides. So people plant trees like this to help prevent that. So they're doing a really good thing here. They build the soil, they clean the air, they work their wonders everywhere. Billions, trillions, trees galore, and thanks to us, a thousand more. We're out of gas, the car is dead, we'll have to use our feet instead. So trees build soil, they help the soil get bigger and higher, they clean the air. So trees take something bad out of the air called carbon dioxide, and they turn it into oxygen, which is what we breathe. So trees are really great. Ow, 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 we're bruised and blistered now. Our knees are weak, our elbows creak. Ow, ow, ow. A truck is in the driveway. It's Polly's plant pavilion. Uh-oh, what do you think that is, friends? I think it's more trees. Grab a tree, it's going to be a long way to a trillion. I think they're all sleeping, except for the dog. Here are some facts. It says there are more than three trillion trees in the world. Late fall or early spring are best for planting trees. It says dig wide so the roots have room. A lot of people plant their trees too deep. So you don't want to plant them too deep so that the roots can grow. There is a bristlecone pine that's more than 5,000 years old. That is an old tree. Trees take CO2 or carbon dioxide out of the air and put oxygen back in. So like I said, they take carbon dioxide out and put oxygen, which is what we breathe, back in. So trees help us breathe. Little trees get thirsty, give them water. This is important, it says always locate underground utilities before you dig. So a lot of people's yards have wires and lines for gas and electricity under them. They have them running in the ground. So you always wanna call and make sure that you know where those are before you do any type of digging, even if you're just playing around because you could accidentally break one of those lines and that can be really dangerous. So we always call before we dig. And then this one's just a joke. What do you call the skin of the tree? And then the dog says, bark. And that is the end of that book, friends. That was a lot of really good information about trees. Do you remember some of the things we talked about? We talked about how there are two major types of trees, evergreen, which are green all year round. They don't ever drop their leaves. And then there are deciduous, which drop their leaves in the fall and grow buds and sometimes flowers and then leaves in the spring, right? Um, what else did we talk about? We talked about how there are so many different types of trees. There are yew trees and willow trees and 
Oh man, there were just so many. I don't think I could remember them all. But why don't you ask your grown-up to help you look up online pictures of different trees? You could even go outside and look at the different leaves on the trees in your yard or go for a walk and see what kind of trees are in your neighborhood. That could be really fun. Uh, we talked about reasons that we plant trees, like maybe there was a fire, so we're planting new trees, or to help prevent flooding. That's a good reason. Or just because trees are pretty, honestly. And trees also help take carbon dioxide, which is not so good for us, out of the air and give us oxygen, which is what we breathe. So those are all really good reasons for trees. At least I think so. But you know, trees have needs too. They have four needs. So we're gonna sing a little song about them. And I'm gonna use my little Lego tree as a prop. So it goes like this. I'm a tree, I have four needs. I'm a tree, I have four needs. I'm a tree, I have four needs. Do you know what they are? I need lots and lots of sun. So we're gonna hold our hand up here like the sun and shine the sun on it. I need lots and lots of sun. I need lots and lots of sun. I need lots and lots of sun to grow big and strong. Then we need water. So we're gonna hold our hand like we're holding a watering can. I need water now and then. I need water now and then. I need water now and then to grow big and strong. We need air just like we do. They don't just take carbon dioxide, they breathe oxygen too. So we'll say I need air and we'll take a deep breath, okay? I need air just like you. I need air just like you. I need air just like you to grow big and strong. They need soil or dirt for their roots to grow into. So for soil, I guess we could just act like we're digging, okay? I need soil for my roots. I need soil for my roots. I need soil for my roots to grow big and strong. Good job. Do you remember what those four things were? sunshine, water, air, and soil. Those are four things that all living things, well, not people, we don't need soil, but all plants need. Trees are a plant. And what else are plants? Flowers, bushes, vegetables, fruits. They all grow from plants. All plants need sun, water, air, and soil or dirt. Great job today, friends. I had so much fun with you at story time. Let's sing Open Shut Them Now, though, okay? You ready? Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them, open shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth. I do not let them in. Great job, friends. You know, it's not too late to sign up for summer reading. You can still win some cool prizes. <coughs> Excuse me, friends. Had a little bit of cough there. But you can win cool prizes, you can log all your reading, you can come into the library and pick out a book. So cool. And if you're already registered, your secret code for watching this story time is STORIES, S-T-O-R-I-E-S, -E all caps, 7, 8. Well, I hope you had fun with story time today because I sure did. I'll see you next time for story time. Bye, friends.